First of all, how has your evening gone so far? Yeah, it's been lovely. It's been really nice to um, be invited to an awards evening like this and nice to get some recognition for our hard work over the summer. It's a really good evening. Yeah, talk me through. I mean, what was that experience like? I mean, uh, just just to go there must have been quite amazing. Yeah, it's my second game. So I went to Delhi as well and obviously it was completely different. Glasgow and Delhi are sort of not comparable at all. but both amazing for their own reasons um, and just won a bronze in Delhi so wanted to go one step further hopefully in Glasgow and ended up with a gold medal so brilliant that couldn't have been happy. Can you articulate that feeling? No it's, it's quite surreal even now sort of we've watched the games back a couple of times and you just you forget things and I think it's just such an unbelievable feeling just sort of no one can ever take that away from you as well and I think it's just fantastic. That's wicked. Um, are you based in Sussex? Yeah, I live in Storrington um, and train in Worthing, so yeah. Wicked. And sort of looking at the um, what you winning um, will do for your sport, obviously f um, f for where you train as well. What's the sort of the future looking like, especially with the sort of the next wave of games coming up in the next couple of years as well? I think for us, I'm play bowls, so I think it's important that the images that younger people, particularly younger women, play bowls. I mean, the average age of the England team was 27 for the girls, so it's not what people think it's going to be at all, and I think that's a really important message to get across um, to people on any opportunity we can. We want to promote that.